Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link. In this project, the spread of the coronavirus due to a cough in the open air is simulated. This model involves a human placed in a cube-shaped computational domain as open air and the human mouth is distinguished as a source of virus transmission. The present three-dimensional model is designed using SOLIDWORKS and Design Modeler software. The model geometry consists of a human with a standing position which is located within a certain computational, computational space containing airflow. The space around a human consists of a rectangular cube measuring 3 meter, multiple 3.5 meter, multiple 2.8 meter, which represents a part of the open air around the person's body. This free space is intended to be studied the distribution of wet viral particles released from the mouth. The surface of the patient's mouth is distinguished by an inlet mouse boundary condition because this surface is assumed as the discrete phase virus release in this model. This figure shows a view of the geometry. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The accuracy of the mesh is higher in areas close to the patient's mouth than elsewhere. This figure shows the mesh. We also selected the diffusion energy source that includes the effect of enthalpy transport due to the a species diffusion in the energy equation. The diameters of these particles are not constant and equal to each other and therefore the rosin romler logarithmic distribution method is considered for the size of the diameters. Also the type of boundary condition for the boundary walls of the patient surrounding space is defined as pressure outlet and the type of boundary condition for other boundaries is defined as the wall. The time advancement type is fixed, that means that the time step size don't varies along the time interval. Just click on the calculate button and wait for the solution to be done. After setting up the scene section and also the particle track section, we open the animation from the solution animations then we go to the playback section of the animations and uh, select the animation. Finally, this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and the full training movie via this link.